All right, so we're going to work another division problem today for practice. And this one's a little bit bigger than the ones that we have been doing. So, you know, normally I say to start out with 10. If I did 10 times 23, that gives me only 230. So this would take us a long time if we just started out with 10 on this one. But I could try 100. So 100 times 23, that gives me 2,300. So that's getting a little bit closer. Now, if I wanted to try to get even closer, you know, I could double that. And if I did 200 times 23, you know, that's going to give me 4,600. So that gets me even closer. And, you know, some of you want to get exactly on the number, but you're spending a lot of time trying to do that. So this strategy, this kind of will help you to not have to get right on the number, but, you know, to still kind of get close, even if you have to do a few extra steps. So that gives me 4,600. So I'm going to put my 23 here. 23, or sorry, 200 here. So I've got 200 times 23. That gives me 4,600. Then I subtract, and then I have to do my regrouping here. So that gives me 1,750. So I don't have enough to make another group of 100. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try 50. So I'm going to do 23 times 50. And I'm going to go ahead and use the area model for this. So I'm going to break up the 23 into 20 and 3. And then I'm multiplying that by 50. So 50 times 20, since 5 times 2 is 10, then I have the two zeros. So I end up with 1,000. 50 times 20 gives me 1,000. And then 50 times 3 is going to be 150. So then when I put these together, I end up with 1,150. So that's going to take away some more, and it was it didn't go over, so that we're still doing good. We you know have a few more steps to do, but we're making the number smaller as we go. So now we've got 600, and so now I can kind of come back up here and think about 10 again, since 10 times 23 is 230. If I did 20 times 23. That's going to give me 460. So I think that's a good place to start again. So 20 times 23 gives me 460. Then I have to do my regrouping again. So now I've got 140. So I, you know, can't make any more groups of 10, but I could try five. So if I did 5 times 23, and I can actually use what I did over here, 23 times 50 was 1,150. So 23 times 5 is just going to be 115. So that works as another group. So I'll put my 115 here. Then I'm going to subtract. And now I have 25 left. So I can see I can make one more group of 23. I'm going to put a 1 here. 1 times 23 is 23. Then I subtract. I have 2 left over. So now I'm going to add these together. So 200 plus 50 plus 20. That gives me 270. Plus 5 would be 275, plus 1, 276. So 276, and then I have a remainder of 2. So to check to make sure that I'm correct, I would multiply 276 times 23, and then add the 2. So before you submit your answer, I want you to also check by multiplying to see if we did it correct. And so once you do 276 times 23 and then add the 2 to it, you should get 6,000.